Good morning, Charging Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, December 5th, which means it's National Bathtub Party Day. I'm Lily Douglas. And I'm India Harper. Today is also National Ninja Day. So with that, let's slice into today's announcements. With semester exams and Christmas break right around the corner, it's time we inform you on the adjusted exam schedule. Monday, December 17th, we will start with testing with periods A1 and A2. Tuesday, December 18th, we will be testing for our B1 and B2 periods. Wednesday, December 19th, we will test for periods A3 and A4. And finally, periods B3 and B4 will test on the 20th. Makeup exams will happen on Friday the 21st, but you can only make up the test with authorization from Principal Jennings, just your teacher is not enough. Semester exams will run from 8.30 to 10 and from 10.10 to 11.40. Following this, there will be lunch, then the buses will run. Students may be picked up after the second exam and make sure to only come for the exams you will take. If you have any questions about eligibility to exempt, please refer to the exemption policy video. So, let's watch it one more time. Hello everyone, I'm Christy Kletcher and when it comes to exemptions, I'm the person you want. So I'm here to tell you how the exemption policy will work this year. So let's start with the good news. Beginning this year, all students in all grades may earn exemptions for all of their semester exams. But there are some very clear rules regarding how you are going to earn those exemptions. So here we go. First, you must have a B unweighted average for the semester. Now that is individual for each class. Having a C average in one class does not stop you from exempting a class in which you do have a B for the semester. Second, you can't have more than four unexcused absences in any class. Missing this means that you get no exemptions for any of your classes. So please, remember to bring your excuses within five days. And don't forget, those go to the attendance office, not your teacher. Again, within five days, don't expect to bring them the week before the exams because it's not going to work. Third, and this one should be obvious by now, no SAC or ASAC, period. If you end up with either or during the semester, you will not earn any exemptions. And finally, this one's new. You can't have more than two tardy card infractions in a semester. And tardy infractions, as you know, occur when a tardy card is full or when you arrive late with no tardy card. So if your tardy card reaches five, there's your first infraction. And then the next time you're late after that, that is your second infraction. And bye-bye exemptions. So let me remind you one last time. If you do any of these, you either have more than four unexcused absences or two tardy infractions or you get sent to SAC or ASAC then you cannot exempt any semester exams. I hope this clears it up for you guys, but if you have any questions, you can email me at cletcherc at nlrsd.org or just stop by my classroom, A101. Thank you and have a great day. The NLR track team grades six through 12 will have a mandatory parent meeting on Tuesday, December 11th at six o'clock p.m. at the Blue Rock Gun Club. If you have any questions, please contact Sally Pryor via email at priors at nlrsd.org. It's time to get in the holiday spirit. So, next week on Thursday, it's Holiday Attire Day. Come to school in your holiday apparel and show off your creativity. Prizes will be given to one person from each grade. And remember that dress code is still in full effect. What's goody? It's your boy BJ Gibbs, aka Hot Fries. I'm here with Logan, Jeremiah. All right, what is y'all's favorite Christmas movie? Home Alone. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Home Alone's better. Okay, um, I'm gonna need y'all to name three of Santa's reindeers without saying Rudolph. Donner, Blitzen, Blitzen, and. Fancy or Dash? He's named like six already. Alright, it's your boy Keon. I'm here with Calaria, Jada, 
All right, so it's after Thanksgiving. It's officially Christmas season. What's the best Christmas movie? Um, the Polar Express. The Grinch. All right, can you name three reindeer besides Rudolph? Donner, Dasher, and Preston. Dixie. Dixie. <laughs> You got name three or something? Didn't I name three? Donna, Dash, and Dixon. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Um, The Grinch. All right. Okay, I'm going to need you to name three reindeers without saying Rudolph. Um. <laughs> so what's the best Christmas movie? Um, I would say The Holiday Calendar on Netflix. No one knows that movie, but can you name three reindeer besides Rudolph? Rudolph the Red Nose had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw him, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What's the word? What's the what's the what's the reindeers? That's that's the point. You gotta name them. Connor and Vixen and Donner and Blixen. What do y'all think the best Christmas movie of all time is? The Grinch. You said the what? The movie? Oh. I don't do Christmas movies. I don't even watch movies. <laughs> All right. Can y'all name three reindeers without saying Rudolph? You got Dancer, Prancer, and... Rudolph, Not <laughs> nobody else. That's how I remember. You give her the last one? Uh... Dasher. Can you name three reindeer without saying Rudolph? Blixen, Samson, and Michael. All right, Craig. What do you think the best Christmas movie of all time is? Home Alone. For sure. All right. Can you name three reindeers without saying Rudolph? Dasher, Prancer, Dancer. For sure. All right. Can you name three reindeer besides Rudolph? No. Can you name one? Dasher. Alright. <laughs> what is the best Christmas movie of all time? Almost Christmas. Alright, for sure. Alright, can you name three reindeers without saying Rudolph? Dancer. Prancer. Blixen. Alright, Christmas is coming up. What do y'all say the best Christmas movie of all time is? Home Alone. This Christmas. Alright, can y'all together name three reindeers without saying Rudolph? Dasher, dancer, prancer. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so it's officially Christmas season. So, you know, what's the best Christmas movie? It's Elf. Best movie is Elf. Okay. Uh, uh, can you name three reindeer besides Rudolph? Uh, Donner, Dixon, and that one dude that looks kind of funny. What's the one dude, bro? How should I know? I don't know how I'm supposed to know either, but all right. All right, uh, what's the best Christmas movie? Home Alone, bro. All right, and, uh, name three reindeer without naming Rudolph. Dasher, Dancer, and Cupid. What do y'all think the best Christmas movie of all time is? Um, definitely The Grinch. Home Alone. For sure. What's the best Christmas movie? Best Christmas movie? Um, shoot. I ain't got one. I just like them all. All right. All right, so what's three reindeers besides Rudolph? Uh, Donner, Cupid, and what, Blitzen. All right. What do you think the best Christmas movie of all time is? Jack Frost. <laughs> all right, can you name three reindeers without saying Rudolph? <laughs> Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen. What's the best Christmas movie? How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Um, A Christmas Story. Okay, can you name three reindeer besides Rudolph? Blitzen, Prancer, Dasher. So what's the best Christmas movie? <laughs> <laughs> the best Christmas movie is uh, next Friday. It's Friday after next, but all right. Can you name three of Santa's reindeer besides Rudolph? You got Blitzen, Dasher, you, I mean, uh, and, uh, come on, bro, and, uh, and, uh, Donna, and Donna. What do y'all think the best Christmas movie of all time is? Oh, dang. Oh. 
Home Alone. Friday after next. <laughs> How many days to Christmas? All right. I'm going to need each one of y'all to name a reindeer without saying Rudolph. Blitzen. Dancer. Blitzen. <laughs> um, what's his name? I got one. Cup. Dancer, dancer, dancer. Anyways, it's your boy, Frosty the Snowman. Follow me on the gram at B.Loading. That is B.L0ADING underscore. You already know, it's your boy, the carry of the snowman. You know what I'm talking about? You know, follow me on Instagram at chillout.king. You got your boy, Marshmallow Man, is behind the camera. All right, we out here asking Christmas questions. You feel me? Bro, what are you doing? I want to be a star too, bro. <laughs> Interested in donating blood? North Little Rock will be hosting a blood drive on Thursday, December 13th on the Tower C Learning Stairs from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. They are looking for 36 successful donations. Please come out and help. Also, support our NLR dance program. Argenta Nutrition's will be giving a portion of its proceeds from now until December 16th to high school dance program to send the dance troupe to the first ever Arkansas High School Dance Festival. Tomorrow, December 6th at 6.30 p.m., the Theater Arts Department will present Holiday Highlights, a holiday dance concert in the Performing Arts Center. The concert features performances by the dance troupe and theater dance classes 1 through 4. Me and my family have been participating in the Sister City program for uh, maybe the past three years. We've done it the past six times, uh, winter and summer, because they're both super fun. And I've loved every single girl that we've had stay at our house. At our house. And yeah. I, I really do recommend this program as a whole. It's a great program. It's fun. You get to experience new things and really make lifelong friends. Meeting uh, the girl I was mentoring, it was really, I was very awkward and shy at first, but um, after a few weeks, we got to know each other and stuff like that. We became friends, and I introduced her to all my friends, and she liked them, and it turned out to be a better experience than I thought it would be. I was a winter mentor first in 10th grade, and that was a little different. It was, he followed me throughout school, and then he, like, he really started becoming friends with all my friends, and it was great everywhere I went with all my friends he was. And then after that, I wanted to get more involved, so I was a summer host, and that was really fun. Having them live with me, it was different. They were with me 24-7. They, he really grew into like family to me, like a brother, and I did it again in the winter, and it was the same thing as the summer. I got involved in the Sister City program in my sophomore year when um, you came to speak to a beta club at North Little Rock. Um, I was really intrigued and I heard some kids who had done it before and I just thought that was a really cool experience so I knew I wanted to do it as well. Uh, it was really fun because I decided to host and uh, mentor and it was for an entire month and it was definitely an experience getting to know that student who I'd never met before. It was really, it was a really great experience. The Sister City program in February with my school, Center of Excellence, and also thought it would be really fun to get to know someone from another country and they be able to, um, they be able to, or I, show them how it is to be an American teenager. Finally, a huge congratulations to our football team for an outstanding season and to the graduating seniors for an overall high school record of 37 and 2. Great job, guys. And that's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Remember that if you have any announcements or comments, you can contact us via email at nlrtv at nlrsd.org. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at nlrtv4 and on Instagram at nlrtv underscore nlrhs and our new Facebook page at North Little Rock TV. And please subscribe to our NLR TV YouTube channel. Have a great day, Wildcats. <laughs>